Did you know that we are slowly poisoning ourselves and our planet? Sounds unbelievable, right? But it isn't. The Earth simply can't take any more pollution from chemicals and plastics. We know this as the brilliant scientists from the Stockholm Resilience Center have mapped out how much pollution the Earth can cope with. In the past, they've already given us warnings about climate change and our overuse of the world's resources. And now, for the first time, they looked at chemical pollution. And it isn't good news. Chemical pollution is now affecting the Earth's ability to provide us with clean air, fresh water and healthy soils. The production of chemicals has increased 50-fold since 1950, as an expected to triple again until 2050. Many substances are so dangerous they can disrupt the basic function of living things. They can disturb the hormone system, they can cause cancer, disrupt brain development and even impact reproduction and fertility. And for many other substances, we don't even know. We simply don't have the data. Toxic chemicals have made their way across the whole planet, from the Arctic to Antarctica. And once they're out there, there's no way of getting them back. They can be found in the fat of polar bears, in birds' eggs, and even in the blood of newborn babies. This is a poisonous problem affecting all life. Harmful chemicals are not only emitted from factories, but they can be found all around us, even in our homes. They are found in everyday products, in the food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe. So what can we do to reduce the overall chemical burden? Three things. First, we need to push governments to adopt stricter laws to ban toxic stuff. Second, we need to encourage companies to develop and use safe alternatives. And third, we need you to raise your voice. The scientist's message is pretty clear. We are outside the safe operating space. So let's join together to fight toxic pollution.